Okay, here's a, just a little more. I wanted to do one more um, graph on rational functions. Uh, this is just a little more complicated polynomial than, than the other one. So uh, first thing, uh, nothing's changed. First thing I want to do, I want to get that y-intercept. Um, so let's dig that out of there. And that's uh, just f of 0. So that'll be 0 plus 0 minus 12. 0 minus 4 is negative 4. Uh, that's 3. Uh, so we'll say y equals, oops, 3. x-intercepts. Um, I'm going to just set the numerator equal to 0. Okay, and that, that should... Uh, I should get everything working for me. Um, I'm gonna factor this. Um, I get x, x, it looks like it's gonna be plus four minus three, and that's x squared minus three x plus four minus 12. Yeah, so that checks out. Um, let's see here, vertical asymptote. Um, well, I can just look at it. 2 squared minus 4 is 0. Negative 2 squared is 4 minus 0. So um, x equals plus or minus 2 right there. Uh, horizontal asymptote. Uh, the degree of the numerator and the denominator are the exact same. So the lead coefficient on here is going to be the asymptote, which is... One. Okay, so we got some information here. Um, let's let's go over here. I'm going to uh, draw real quick, uh, possibly even a little bit crude graph. Okay, I, that's that's good enough. All right, and what did we find out? We found out that um, we found out the y-intercept was three. So that's uh, 0 comma 3, so 1, 2, 3, and that's um, that's the y-intercept. Let's find the x-intercepts next, and that's um, what we determined those were. Oh yeah, that's uh, x equals negative 4, and x equals 3. Is that how I went? So let's go 1, 2, 3, 4. One, two, three. Okay. I'm going to use blue for, for these ones. And where were my asymptotes at? My vertical ones. Vertical asymptotes were at, um, they were at x equals plus or minus two. So let's go, here's two. So let's just draw in our little, our little framework here. Okay. Um, and the horizontal asymptote, we found that out to be y equals 1. So, this is a function that will never, ever be equal to 1. Okay. So, I've got some good information here. Um, actually, this is going to turn out to be pretty good because, all right, notice how I, I, I have a, a, a horizontal asymptote right here. Well, the graph... Um, what, what I'm interested in is, is in between the asymptotes in this section right here what the, what the graph looks like. Well, I know that it can't cross this horizontal asymptote, but I, we also found out that the y-intercept was up here. So I'm pretty confident in going ahead and I'm going to fill in, um, kind of like, just kind of sketch what this curve kind of takes the form of right there, okay? I know it doesn't do anything wacky um, because it doesn't have any x-intercepts other than these two. Okay, there was only two x-intercepts, and they were down there. Okay, and so it's not going to do anything wacky. It's going to kind of stay here. Furthermore, this is over here. Here's our other x-intercept right there. I'll write that down there. So we had our x-intercepts there. Furthermore, I know that since... Um, yeah, this thing really can't uh, really can't bounce up across. It. I mean, I guess there's a possibility that it could bounce up across this as asymptote and come back down. Um, but I'm I'm gonna go ahead and bank on the fact that this thing approaches infinity or, or approaches one on large scale as as x approaches infinity. 
And I'm going to go back over here and I'm going to fill in the graph right there as well. So I have something that looks like that. And our original function, what, what was it? Um, Okay, it was right there. So if I put 10 in here, actually let's let's go, this is three, four, five, um, just to make sure this thing doesn't jump over the intercept uh, or the uh, asymptote, let's just check it out. Five squared, that's 25 plus five is 30 minus 12. Um, I can't believe I had to use my calculator, but uh, well, that's 18. 25 over 21, well that's still not one. So yeah, um, basically for this this fraction, this function would have to be greater than one to, to hop over the asymptote right there. And, and it doesn't look like that's gonna happen based on this function right here, okay? Especially with the numerator and the, the denominator having the same degree. So I um, hope I didn't confuse anyone and I hope you kind of walk away from this uh, without a limp and confident in graphing these things because that's all that's all that there really is to it um, earlier in one of my other videos I, I came out with this kind of fail safe well, you know what I would call to be a fail safe way to graph these things and I I, I don't memorize this stuff um, some people think that I do I really don't but I just kind of use this when I'm doing homework um, sometimes in advanced math, you, you need to do, you need to graph these things, and you need to learn about them, and it's just kind of handy. So that, that that's what I do. So um, I think this will conclude the video series on rational functions, unless someone has a specific request. So see you in the next um, uh, topic.